Hey, Mint Valley, it's Mrs. Alice, and it is time for our lesson for the week. That is um, one more time we're talking about integrity here at Mint Valley, and I have a super great story to share with you today that has a lot um, to do with integrity, and um, I'm ex so excited to share it with you. It's one of my favorites. It's called The Empty Pot. So listen, and be ready to tell me when you see me in class meetings, how did this character in this book show integrity. Okay, so here we go. The Empty Pot by Demik. And I need to get my glasses on here, guys. Okay, here we go. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers, too. They planted them everywhere, and the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all. And he tended his own garden every day. <clears throat> but the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to his throne. Who would his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There they would be given special flower seeds by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. That means they would get to become the new emperor. The news created a great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. When Ping received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed. Nothing grew in his pot. Ping was very worried. He put new soil and put it in a bigger pot. Then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. Another two months he waited. Still nothing happened. And by the whole and by and by, a whole year passed. Spring came, and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he couldn't get a flower to grow. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. Ping, he said, you're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers, bigger than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed won't grow. Ping's father overheard this and said, you did your best, and your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. How beautiful all the flowers were. But the emperor was frowning and didn't say a word. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, Why did you bring me an empty pot? Ping started to cry and replied, I planted the seed you gave me, and I watered it every day. 
but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended to it all year long, but nothing grew. So today I had to bring an empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face and he put his arm around Ping. Then he exclaimed to one and all, I found him. I found the one person worthy of being the emperor. Where you, the rest of you, got your seeds from, I do not know. For the seeds I gave you had all been cooked. So it was impossible for any of them to grow. So all those seeds that were given out were cooked. They couldn't grow a plant. So where did those flowers come from, from all the rest of them? I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth. And now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the lands. So boys and girls, as you heard this story, be thinking, how did Ping show integrity? And what did the other children of the um, kingdom do that did not show integrity? That's what we're going to talk about when I see you in the upcoming meetings in person. So again, practice empathy. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you soon for our in-person class meetings. Talk to you soon.